G'day! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a website sitemap that helps to achieve the business goals of your website. So a website sitemap is a structure, a hierarchy of the pages uh, that are on your website. And by putting this together, it helps for Google to be able to see what your website is all about and how your website is structured. It also helps when working with a web designer or a digital marketing agency because the sitemap forms pretty much the scope of works that's going to be included, uh, what pages are going to be created, how they fit together, what's going to be on each page, so you can see that at a high level. It's kind of like the architectural blueprint for a house. So you want to definitely make sure that you do this. It'll help to put you in the right uh, frame to, be to generate a return on investment for any web project that you work on. So where I've seen some businesses go wrong with this when they don't put together a sitemap is that they, they start building the website, they, they don't take the time to plan and they end up creating something that's really confusing uh, for users to, to navigate and to browse through the website. They haven't really thought through how the structure works and that end up, end, ends up impacting them in the way that uh, they can't get the results that they want from Google, from their search engine traffic which creates confusion for their team and also for website visitors and they end up losing visitors to their competitors which doesn't help their business grow. On the other side of this, the businesses that have planned sitemaps effectively have much smoother projects when it comes to redesigning their website or building a new one from scratch uh, which means that their website is um, very organized so Google can crawl it effectively and see what it's all about helping it rank uh, higher in the search engine uh, results, not just in Google, but in other search engines too, uh, which helps the business to generate more ideal traffic, giving more leads and giving more business. So a sitemap overall is a list of pages uh, that's structured in a hierarchy. So you kind of think of it in the way that bullet points are laid out. So you might have the home page, and then below that you could have about, uh, contact, services and then within services you might have a list of all the different services so really just listing out all of your pages just like that is what a sitemap is it can look like various different things because a lot of the time designers like to turn into something that's presented a bit nicer but just thinking about it like a hierarchy of bullets um, just straight linear just straight down is one way to think about it or it could be home and then a level like this where you've got about services and then the services below and then contact us and all the the other pages that you need so you can structure it in both of those kinds of ways now a website sitemap is not your navigation menu so many websites have like a logo and then they've got a menu as well and many menus below uh, sometimes in the footer as well but your sitemap is not your menu your sitemap is all of your pages even if it's not included in the sitemap. For example, if you have a particular service, let's say it's uh, acupuncture, and you're sending Facebook ads traffic or Google ads traffic to your acupuncture page, and you're wanting to customize that specifically for your campaigns, then you might not have that within your menu. It's a very specific page for a very specific service because people are coming in from your paid traffic. You might have your acupuncture page that's your general service page, but then your landing pages are separate. They may not be in your uh, main menu. So that's uh, how it's different. So then when it comes time to actually creating your website, one of the first things that you want to do really before you begin is speak to a professional. Speak to someone who's built websites before and they've got great results with them. Not just designed something pretty, but they've actually got business results. Someone who understands user personas and the uh, customer journey and they know what kinds of information would be relevant in, uh, in your overall uh, website architecture. So consulting with a professional would definitely be something I recommend here, but you can absolutely create a sitemap uh, without one. It'll just really help to improve the process and improve your results if you work with someone who has experience. So the first thing you want to do is you can just get a piece of paper and a pen, notebook and a pen, or the digital version, you can open up your favorite word processor, whether that's Word or I like to use Google Docs, and you just want to start with typing in your homepage. So I'm just going to go up into the browser here. Here's a very small one I've prepared earlier. So just 
your sitemap, ideally with the URL at the end, so domain.com.au, whatever that is, and you just want to put in home to start with. And then below that, we want to list all of the different pages that your website is going to have. And we want to be thinking about the sections first. So not the very detailed, like this is my specific service. So like I mentioned before, acupuncture, we do want to think about that. But if I chunk up a bit, acupuncture is a type of service. So I want to have services as a page that's going to be listed there. So I want to be thinking about those types of content first. That could include podcasts, uh, blog, case studies, team. See, these things are the, the sections, they're the types of content. So I want to be thinking about those. And I also want to be thinking about the content that will go in those sections, but I want to think about that second. So first of all, we've got the home, and then within that, we have about and so on and so forth. So I've listed all of them there. And I want to be thinking like, what else do I need? What other pages? I know that websites need a privacy policy. So I would call that an ancillary page. So they're pages that usually just sit at the very bottom. We just need to have those pages. They don't need to be part of any particular menu, but we're required uh, usually by law to be a, to put those kinds of pages on a website, especially if we're running ads to the website. So we've got our list of pages. Now this is for a... Um, an acupuncturist, as you might have noticed, good friend of mine, Trent Dolman. I'm just going to use Trent as an example, who is an acupuncturist, remedial uh, masseur, and a personal trainer, as well as a coach. But anyway, so first of all, I've listed the pages and thought about like, what else do I need? Is there anything else that's needed? I think we're pretty good. Then I want to put them into a hierarchy. So from here, I've got acupuncture, remedial massage, and personal training. Now I know that they are all services. So I'm just going to take these, copy, and then I will paste those. And then I know that weight loss is actually a program. So I'm going to put, I'm going to list it in programs. Awesome. Anything else that needs to be changed? I'm just going to list as well, because blog is an overall section. It's not really, it doesn't really have any content. It just houses content. So I'm just going to write blog article. It's going to go in there. So... That's looking pretty good. So that's the overall structure, very simple kind of website. And once we've got this together, this is just helps us to see like, what are the pages that we need to create, all of the different content that we need to create. And then from there, we can have a look at the design and how we're gonna go about creating the menus. But before we do that, the next step is to make this a little bit more visually appealing. Uh, this is all you would really need if you're the owner of the, the business um, to be able to, to put forward to your web designer. Uh, but from there, making this something a bit more pretty is great if you're presenting this to a, um, to a business. So some tools that, that I like to use uh, for this, uh, because we're a web design agency, we like to use uh, Figma, which is awesome. So this is an example of something created in Figma that shows the overall structure of the web page. You can see we've got homepage and then various pages with pages within them. Now you can also see here that uh, this one is included like what's within this page. Now this would be a bit of a pro tip because if we're looking just at this page here, about, like what, what is in the about page, it'd be great to actually include things uh, that are on that page, perhaps the timeline uh, of the business, um, any relevant case studies, uh, the team. Knowing what's in that page makes it super helpful when it comes to creating content to show uh, what content needs to be created and how is it going to be listed in the page. But it's not necessary as part of a sitemap. It is the next stage of things to really improve uh, your sitemap uh, by doing that. Uh, there's also a tool that I like to use called uh, octopus.do. They have a, a great array of, um, of examples that you can see. Uh, here's a corporate website example. So within this, we've got the main page service about, and then they've included here the content within that page. So I find this being a really helpful tool to, to just get a bit more detailed. It also has like a little bit of a wireframe um, structure in there. So you're starting to bring it to life just a little bit more without needing to design anything, without needing to, to get it all perfect. It's just really getting closer towards the ideal structure that you wanna have. And then they've also got a demo of a landing page here that shows the main page, email, and success. So it's also showing 
a bit of a user flow there, which is, uh, which is super helpful. Now, what if you already have a website? Now, that's totally fine, but a lot of businesses, uh, if they're finding that their, their website's a bit confusing, they're not getting the conversions that they want, a useful process can be to do a sitemap on your existing website. Like go through all of the pages, list them out just in that bullet point form so you can see what, what's the layout, what's the architecture of our pages here. Does this make sense? Is there anything that's missing or anything that's getting uh, in the way? Now, if you've never created a sitemap before, I'd recommend just going down the bullet points path and just sticking with that. Uh, also, reviewing some of the examples uh, from the octopus.do website will be helpful so you can get a bit of an idea about how it all works. All right, so now that you know why a website is important to your business, how it helps to save time and money and help you achieve more of an ROI on your web design or website rebuild projects, and you know exactly how to create one, the next step is actually to go and make one. So you can follow the steps in this video. You can use some of the tools uh, that I mentioned and you can create a sitemap that's gonna help to bring you in more traffic, be a much more enjoyable experience for your users and reduce confusion. So I hope that's helpful and uh, happy sitemapping. Cheers.